With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Well, hello students. Now we are going to see this question. All resistances in the diagram are in ohm. Okay, find the effective resistance between point A and B. Okay, we need to find effective resistance between this point and this point. So it is very easy question. Why? Because we have to start solving from the right itself. Okay, so from the right, if you see, what will you see that? These all are connected in parallel basically. So what will we do basically? So firstly, we'll solve this branch. Okay, this of this resistor and this resistor. So if you see, I'm drawing uh, this uh, resistances again. So as to make a clear vision. Okay, let's suppose this is point A and this is basically point B. Okay, so there is a three ohm resistor between them. Okay, and basically there is a six ohm resistor over here. Okay, and there is a three ohm resistor again over here. Okay. And finally, there is a 6 ohm resistor again over here and 3 ohm resistor again over here. So this this is a very a little uh, uh, means a lo bad diagram means it doesn't look uh, very good. So we have to solve it very carefully in order to make no errors. So this is basically what is the question. Okay. So uh, we are going to see this diagrams now. Now we are going to put all the values that is this is over here 3, this is over here 3, this is over here 6 and again this is over here uh, how much uh, we need to see it. This is over here 3 okay again and basically this over here is 6 again this over here is 6 this over here is 3 6 3 and 3 okay. So this is basically our diagram we drew it. So why did I draw this diagram so as to make you understand more clearly okay. So if you see this two resistances okay from this point to this point we need to find the resistance. So if you see this 3 ohm resistance okay and both the 3 ohm resistances which are over here and over here okay. So they are connected in series so we will just simply add it okay. So we can replace this resistance by one series resistance that is of 6 ohms okay. So we can replace it by 6 ohm resistance. So you can see this 6 ohm now, this 6 ohm and this 6 ohm are connected in parallel. Okay. So since they are connected in parallel, so firstly what we did, we did uh, V1 will be basically let's write R1 will be equal to 3 plus 3 which will be equal to 6. Okay. R1 is equivalent resistance between this points. Okay. R let's suppose we name point C, D, E everything. Okay. This is point C, this is point D. This is point E, this is point uh, AB, it's already written, so let's not go there. So RCB, RAC actually, RAC will be equal to this, so we have our point C over here, okay, and basically RAC total, okay, total will be equal to what, basically RAC is already found out to be 6, so C, this is D, this is F, E, and basically this is F okay so I named it correctly I guess so D E F I um, so basically this point D uh, this point is not D this point is C this point is D and this point is E okay so now what we are gonna do we are gonna find the uh, total resistance between A and C so total resistance between A and C total okay will be equal to what will be equal to this uh, parallel connections uh, value okay which will be equal to 6 into 6 by 6 plus 6 this is the uh, parallel resistances formula okay so this will come out to be what this will come out to be 3 ohms okay so we can replace this with a 3 ohm resistor okay so we are going to replace it with a 3 ohm resistor now so we replaced it with a 3 ohm resistor so now this 3 ohm and 3 ohm are again in series so you can see over here now r a D will be equal to 3 plus 3 which will be again equal to 6 okay so this will again come out to be 6 okay we are gonna put one resistor which is of 6 ohm okay so this is 6 ohm resistor so again this 6 and 6 are corrected in the parallel so we did one calculation for 6 and 6 which were in parallel so R A D total will be equal to what basically it will be equal to 3 ohm because it will be this same calculation okay same calculation so again we will now replace it by a 3 ohm resistor okay so we will replace it by a 3 ohm resistor so if you replace it and again do it so that will be a very easy task for you now, now again you can see there is a 3 and 3 connected in series so again you can do do the same okay 
so if you see over here again 3 and 3 are connected in series so r a e will be equal to again 6 because it will be same as this one okay same as this one and again we will replace it by a 6 ohm resistance 6 ohm so again this 6 and 6 are connected in parallel so r a e total r a e total will be equal to what it will be equal to 3 ohm okay which will be same as this calculation okay so we will replace it finally with a 3 ohm resistor 3 ohm resistor okay so this 3 and 3 are again connected in parallel so what we'll have over here is that we'll have simply a 6 ohm resistor okay so this is basically the shortest circuit we are getting okay now we are gonna do finally r equivalent a b will be equal to 6 into 3 by 6 plus 3 which will be equal to 2 ohm okay so our answer will be 2 ohm okay so this is how we reduce the circuit and find found out the answer answer is equal to 2 ohm okay thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today